It's the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. We're driven by the search for better, but when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. Don't search, match with Indeed. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash podcast. Just go to Indeed.com slash podcast right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash podcast. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire. You need Indeed. It's time to take your career to the next level. With over 150 graduate degree programs, the Catholic University of America, located in Washington, D.C., provides world-class academics with a student experience that educates the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. Whether your professional calling is in engineering, nursing, social work, or any of our other exceptional degree programs, encounter the best of everything that Catholic University has to offer and discover the best in yourself. Learn more today at catholic.edu forward slash gradadmissions. We're in the stretch run now, and the postseason is anticipatingly near. We're not stopping with the fantasy takes and breakdowns on the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. Thursday episode, Nathan McKinnon doing special things and a whole lot more. Let's tap in. Your Locked On Fantasy Hockey, your daily podcast on fantasy hockey. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team... Every day. Welcome back inside the lab, everybody. And thank you so much for joining us for the Thursday episode of the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast, your daily source for fantasy hockey news and daily degenerate gambling breakdowns. Shout out to the everydayers for holding us down, making us your first listen every single day. Today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel. Make every moment more. Right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets. With any winning $5 bet, that's 200 bucks if your bet wins. Visit FanDuel.com. Slash locked on to get started. Steel, this is the time of season that a lot of fantasy GMs, for obvious reasons, might be tuned out. But we know that there's a lot that are tuned in and we're not going to stop with all of the top news permeating the NHL. We're going to get to Josh Doan. That is a great story because also, Steel, you know, I can't slack on the keeper dynasty side. Why not take <laughs> a look at this kid? The president's trophy race. Very intriguing. It's ratcheted up 10 notches even in the last couple of days. And we're going to start with Nathan McKinnon and this impressive streak, even though they did lose to the Montreal Canadiens the other night. And Thursday's bets, like I always do, my friend, take it away with what you're seeing from Nathan McKinnon. Because look, we've said this. He might actually be not only the best fantasy piece in the NHL, he might just be the best player in the NHL. And that's saying something considering... Kucherov, McDavid, and others that have been performing. However, please let me know what you're seeing about his game, Colorado, and this, I think, 35-game home point streak, which, last time I checked, is closing in on someone named Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, I mean, he definitely deserves to be in that conversation as the best uh, the best fantasy hockey player and even the best NHL player in the NHL. And I know most people are going with Connor McDavid. Me personally, I think at this point, uh, especially after this season, even though McDavid has made a case over the last two months, uh, I'm still going with Nathan McKinnon as the best player in the NHL. Okay. He definitely deserves it. Uh, he's been absolutely unreal. Like you said, he's Can't recorded disagree. at least a point in every single home game this season. That's 29 goals, 48 assists, and wow. plus 22 in 35 what? home games. It's what? absolutely unbelievable what Nathan McKinnon is doing. He sets a franchise record. What? Way, like you said as well, Wayne Gretzky holds the all-time record with points in 40 consecutive home games back in uh, uh, 85, I believe it was. Unreal. McKinnon, McKinnon is six more home games away from breaking that record. And these are the home games he has to do it, uh, or the oh. teams he has to do it against. Yes. The New York Rangers, the Nashville Predators, the hottest team in the NHL right now, the Dallas Stars, Minnesota Wild, Winnipeg Jets, and Ooh. Edmonton Oilers. Ooh. Not by, by far, Ooh. probably the hardest schedule. Actually, we'll get into Jeez. that when we get into the uh, President's yes. Trophy Awards or President's yes, Trophy Race. But that is a very tough home schedule for uh, the remaining uh -huh. of the season for the Colorado Avalanche. But if anyone can do it, 
Nathan McKinnon is, is one of those guys that can get it done. But I think, again, what sets him apart mm. from, uh, you know, other players, I, and again, he's, he's in that same tier with Connor McDavid. But for me, what sure. sets him apart is the speed. The speed is an so absolute glad you brought killer this from Nathan McKinnon. When he gets flying, it's almost mm. impossible to stop him. I mean, go back to that uh, that Winter Classic game or the uh, outdoor game against the Vegas Golden Knights when I believe it was Alex Petrangelo who was mm. like, oh, God, oh, God, here, here, here he comes. And yeah. Nathan McKinnon comes down and rips it past Marc-Andre Fleury. So, sure. I mean, that, that just proves right there how, how defenders <laughs> see Nathan McKinnon coming at them and they don't yeah. know what to do uh, most of the time. But he's to, he's, to me, the best player this season. What's also very, very impressive is he is now the first player in NHL history, Steel. The first with multiple 19 game point streaks in the same season. Yeah. So when these kinds of things happen, and you and I have to cover a lot of different angles in the NHL, it's kind of a full stop moment because we can sit here and nitpick and discuss McDavid, McKinnon, Kucherov, whoever. If you're doing things like that, the conversation and the debate might be over very quickly because, look, the team is also winning. And I know Montreal the other night, that was disappointing. Pooch my same game parlay. That's okay. Yep. This guy is able to translate even, let's say, 75% of what he's doing right now into the postseason. Colorado is going to run through the first two rounds. Maybe not. I don't know who they're going to play, but this kid is kid. This player is just carrying this team in terms of that next level. He's into it. That's impressive. The numbers are absolutely sensational. And when we look at that home streak, we just got to show it some love. After the break, we're going to show some love to the president's trophy race bets. But if you're okay, I do want to move yeah. on to this Josh Doan situation do because it. as much as we could probably sit here and continue to talk about how good McKinnon is, our listeners out there are astute. They know what the deal is with McKinnon. They might not know what's going on with Josh Doan. And I've been doing, unfortunately, far too much reading into this young player. And if you don't want to do it, have a look at how exciting the last couple of days have been for this Arizona Coyotes franchise. And I know that doesn't always translate into fantasy success or on ice success. But I think with Josh Doan, it might. This is one of those rare situations Look at how excited he was to even be out there in the Arizona State rink steal. That's another whole conversation. Josh Doan lit it up in the AHL this year. In 62 games, he had 46 points. He steps in. He has two games and they are two goals in his first game and they win. He also doesn't look out of place at all. I'll leave it at this. He looks like he can be a versatile power forward in the NHL. He plays with a little bit more edge than his dad. And he has all the talent and leadership. This guy is going to be a captain in the NHL. You just know it. And I'll say <laughs> that when I saw how happy Josh Doan was next to his dad and all of that energy, that's good for the game of hockey. It's good for the sport. And it's just really good for a much maligned franchise in Arizona that not a lot has gone right. And in the same game, they also get eliminated from the playoffs, even though they win <laughs> a little bit of Arizona in a nutshell. What's your take on this though? Because I do think at 22 years old, six foot, a 37th overall draft pick. I'm going to take a look at Josh Doan. You know he's going to get a very good opportunity to play regularly next season in, in Arizona. I, I mean, that's a lot of praise for a kid who just played his NHL. It is a lot of praise. Uh, his, I'm hyped up, Steve. Praise. No, no, and rightfully so, but I mean. It was the Columbus Blue Jackets, so maybe it, let's it, it take was, it down it a notch. Uh, yeah, definitely a lot of praise, but definitely deserved from Josh Doan. I mean, to be drafted to the same team that your that your dad played his entire NHL career with. a good with, story, I guess. Uh, to get the call from Bill Armstrong that you're getting called up. Mm. Uh, have your entire family in the building. Uh, to watch your first game to score not once but twice is yeah. unbelievable. So definitely, uh, it's it has to. I mean, for Josh Doan, he probably couldn't have dreamt it better than what happened and how it transpired for him yeah. uh, over the last couple of days. Two goals, yes, six uh, six shots on net, and a game winner in your NHL debut. Like you couldn't not draw bad. it up more more perfect from Josh Doan. But even to your point, uh, what, what you know is his season with the Tucson Roadrunners, forty six points in sixty two games. Go back to when he was at Arizona State University and the NCAA. He was pretty much a point per game player, 38 points in 39 games, 37 right. points in 35 games. He's going to continue to grow, to continue to develop, hopefully get a little bit stronger, a little bit bigger. Right. Uh, he is 6'1", but he's eight, 180 pounds. But like you said, he mm -hmm. plays a physical game, so get a little bit more muscle on him. 
Uh, mm-hmm. But it, it, it's a special day, and it's a special night for him, his entire family. Yeah. Um, to, I want to say these two things, a little bit of a side note, because I was digging into Arizona and, and whatnot. But yeah, you did were. you know that that Carey Price is Shane Doan's cousin? Did you know that? No, but maybe that plays into me liking him maybe, even more. Maybe, because I don't know if you yeah. remember some of these training videos of Shane Doan with Josh Doan. This yeah. kid is being groomed since 12 years old and to do it the right way. That's why I'm fired up. I'm getting swept up in the story for sure. And I'm not saying he's a keeper or anything like in the keeper yeah, dynasty. Yeah, definitely someone realm. to keep an eye on. He is a very intriguing prospect that come around next season for those keeper dynasty drafts. I'm going to look at maybe stashing him yeah. or taking him right at the back end of the draft because I'll leave it at this. And I like saying that because I feel like talking a lot more about Josh Stone is his opportunity with Arizona. He's going to yeah. get every single chance to be the guy there. And sorry, I'm not going to leave it at that because Josh <laughs> and Shane Doan became the second father son duo in league history oh, that's to amazing. record a point in their NHL debut with the same franchise. Boom, boom. And Danny Jeffrey on with the Montreal Canadiens. That, little bit of a random one, but still I'm into my bag right now with these. Hey, random that's stats. amazing. That, that's so. absolutely amazing. You love to hear that again, just having, uh, just having the opportunity to play for the same team that your dad played his entire career with. I mean, he, he must be so happy just putting that Jersey on. Um, I just want, is, what number does he wear? Does he wear number 91 or I, which they he switched Shane? He switched his dad's numbers around, but I, you yeah, know, he I, switched it. He no, cause Doan was nine. Like uh, Shane Doan was I nine. Was, I think I thought Shane Doan was 19, 19, 19. Give it, give it to me, steel. This is why we do this together. However, <laughs> there's going to be a lot more to talk about around the break and perhaps the meat and potatoes of this show. This president's trophy race is Unreal. popping off and we're going to take a look at the updated odds because you know steel and i like to get degenerate that's going to slide right into thursday's bets today's episode is brought to you by our friends at FanDuel sportsbook say bye-bye to busted brackets because FanDuel lets you bet on every single game of the tourney sweet 16 is upon us elite eight everything you need to be doing to getting those bets in, whether you're betting on a big upset or a one seed, it's time to go dancing in America's number one sports book right now. New customers get $200 in bonus bets. If your $5 bet wins, that's 200 bucks to use on point spreads, money lines. You can even pick who's going to win it all. Hashtag Houston Cougars. Just visit fanduel.com slash locked on and bet on college hoops until they cut down the nets. What's up guys. Trey Matthews, the locked on devils here. And let me tell you about Discover Debit Cash Back. Wings for the game? Boom, cash back. New lucky jersey? Boom, cash back. Even a last-minute ice run could score you some cash back when you use your debit card. And yes, we said debit card. With Discover Cash Back Debit, everyone can earn cash back on everyday purchases. Look in sports, it's hard to predict who's taking the W, but you know what's a guaranteed win? Discover Cash Back Debit. Oh, and did I mention there are no fees, period? I'm telling you, this one is a real game changer. Check out transaction eligibility and terms at discover.com slash cashback debit. Discover Bank member FDIC. And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. If you're watching on Fox Sports or ESPN on your TV all day, do you have to turn the turn down the volume with all that shouting? Make the switch now to Locked On Sports Today, a free 24-7 sports streaming channel programmed for your every day to bring you the biggest stories without all the screaming. Locked On Sports Today brings you can't-miss analysis, opinions, and news streaming 24-7 on YouTube or the free Amazon Fire TV channel apps, part of the Locked On uh, Podcast Network, your team, every single day once again thank you so much for tuning in for today's episode with flip and i uh really appreciate it continue to hit the subscribe the follow button leave a five-star review let us know how your fantasy teams are doing right now if you're in the playoffs uh you know any waiver wire targets you might think we should talk about let us know Mm. in the comments below we appreciate that before we get over to the uh president trophy odds i just wanted to finish this up with uh, again, a little bit of a side note. Again, going Love down them. the rabbit hole with the Arizona Coyotes. Yes, we are. I mean, we've talked a little bit about how, uh, you know, the draft picks and the draft stock the Nashville Predators have in store over the next three years. Mm-hmm. Take a look at Arizona. 20 draft picks in the first three rounds over the next three years. 
33 draft picks total Whoa. over the next three drafts. So Whoa. they are loaded with draft uh, mm. high end draft value right now. So definitely a thing to keep on uh, when the draft comes around in the off season, but over to the president's trophy odds, yeah. seven teams are in the running. I mean, you could probably add in a couple of more, you know, the Edmonton Oilers, Winnipeg jets, maybe, but seven maybe. teams right now within three points of each other. Number one Rangers with a hundred points with 10 games remaining. Mm -hmm. Stars and Bruins with 99 points with nine games remaining. Canucks at 98 points with 10 games remaining. Panthers, Avalanche, and Carolina Hurricanes all at 97 points, 10 games remaining. I mean, this has got to be the closest in the with this many teams uh, yeah. at this point in the season. Mm -hmm. It's also very, by the way, shout out for your research. You're digging into these numbers, and I appreciate it. When I look at the odds, though, and I got FanDuel up, shout out to FanDuel, oh, yeah. obviously, there is a lot of value to be had here, Steele. Yeah. And I'm not saying, like, the New York Rangers don't deserve to be, you know, the, the favorite right now. They're plus 115 to take home this President's Trophy. And I know they're the first to 100 points. They just clinched a playoff spot. I believe, were they the first team to clinch a playoff spot? Dallas right there at plus 600. Florida at plus 650. Vancouver at plus 700 and then on and on Bruins 950 avalanche a thousand Carolina at plus 1300. I'm going to say those seven that I just mentioned all very much still alive Edmonton, Winnipeg, the, the odds are going to fall off there. And I actually just don't read into them. However, I'm not willing to sit here and predict any of those teams to be the surefire number one president's trophy winner so far. So I'll say this. Number one, you're right. This race is intriguing. It's exciting. And I think down the stretch here, Dallas, Florida, Vancouver, those three, all kinds of value in terms of a wager steal because they are not out of winning it, not even close. Not close. Yeah, I completely agree. I think if there's one team, because, you know, I, I I have a lot of numbers up here. I have the odds. I yes, have the you do. schedule. I've got the points. I think out of all seven of those teams, yeah. the team I'm taking out of you know contention here are the Colorado Avalanche at plus okay. one thousand. Yeah. I would not be betting sure. at plus well, on the Colorado Avalanche at plus one thousand because again, looking at the remaining schedule, they have the number one hardest remaining schedule in the NHL with all of those teams I just mentioned in the, and in Bruins the first are segment of this too. episode. And Bruins are number three. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you for that. Bruins are number three with the hardest remaining schedule. Yes, sir. Uh, with the games against. Florida, two against Carolina, Nashville, Tampa Bay, two against Washington. But like I said, against uh, for Colorado, they have games against the New York Rangers, Dallas Stars, Winnipeg Jets, two against Edmonton, one against Nashville, and one against Vegas. So for me personally, I'm not putting any money on Colorado, even though they've got some great odds there uh, at plus yeah. 1,000. And, you know, they're still, what, three points behind the Rangers in first place right now. I think uh, for me personally, I've said it all year, the New York Rangers, I think even think one of my preseason predictions or, you know, uh, one of my bold predictions was the, was the New York Rangers winning the President's Trophy at the beginning of the season. And then I switched I so. it. And then I switched it oh. when we did our, uh, no, at, season, yeah, at, mid -season. at the beginning of the season, I said oh. New York Rangers. At, in the midseason, when we did our bold predictions, I said the Florida Panthers. So those are my two right You're looking now. pretty good, yeah. New York Rangers at plus 115. Florida Panthers at plus 650 are my two because the Florida Panthers – um. Let me get it right here. The Florida Panthers are have the 23rd hardest remaining schedule, and the Rangers have the 25th hardest remaining schedule. They have some very easy games coming yeah. up to finish this season. So those, those, those are my two favorites. The New York Rangers at plus 115, Florida Panthers at plus 650. For the value, you know I'm not backing down from the Carolina Hurricanes. And if I had to Great pick value. another team, pick a team from the West, I'm going to go the Dallas Stars because I'm not going to back down from them either. Yeah. When I throw a lot of predictions at the board, that's what we do. We're going to do that after the break with bets. I guess I'll just kind of looking at everything that's remaining. And now what, Steele? Everyone, everyone in the NHL team-wise is past the 71 game mark. Yeah. This is now, you know, the Oilers have 71 game, you know, it's right there. We are about to see the real test of some of these teams that are kind of on the bubble and still have some great competition down the stretch. No squad ever wants to back into the playoffs. That's obvious. So I'm excited to see the president's trophy is nice. You and I are talking about it as an angle. It's intriguing for betting. 
You just want to be rolling into those playoffs cooking. And if it means you win the trophy, that's nice. But teams that are expecting to be winners in the postseason, you can't back into the playoffs. That's just a fact. You don't want to be doing it. So we're taking a look at these angles, and we're going to take a look at a lot more of them. Steele and I will be breaking down playoff predictions, X-Factors, bets, everything that you need to know, playoff pool advice. You're tapped into your source right after the break, steal. Let's get to these Thursday bets. I've, I'm seeing you out here. You got the bets cooking. I'm intrigued to hear what you have to say. Why don't you take us there? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Didn't do so well on Tuesday night. Uh, those player props uh, left me out to dry a little bit. Jake Ensel, the revenge game against Pittsburgh, Ooth. did not yeah, go the not way. Not so I much. But we're bouncing back in a big That's way okay. for Thursday's big, big-time betting board. But first, this episode is brought to you by eBay Motors. Passion, drive, and patience. What brings home the winning trophy is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. From superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more, whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home that win. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. eBay Guaranteed Fit, only available to U.S. customers. It's time to take your career to the next level. With over 150 graduate degree programs, the Catholic University of America, located in Washington, D.C., provides world-class academics with a student experience that educates the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. Whether your professional calling is in engineering, nursing, social work, or any of our other exceptional degree programs, encounter the best of everything that Catholic University has to offer and discover the best in yourself. Learn more today at catholic.edu forward slash grad admissions. And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Continue to hammer that subscribe button. Hit the the follow button. Leave a five-star review. We love all the feedback and the support we get from our listeners out there. Thank you so much. Our rating in the podcast standings across Canada, across America, they're bumping up right now. Let's go. We're getting ready. We're getting loaded for this upcoming postseason with all these fire NHL teams if you just missed it, we just talked about the uh, current president trophy race with seven teams in contention right now. Let's mm. go over to big time bets where the money is made. Lots Why of not? games for Thursday night. Lots of money to be made games. as well. 14 games to be exact. Flip mm. over to you, my friend. Where are you looking? Where are you starting? First pick, Connor Bedard, anytime point. The Ottawa oh. Senators have been trash. Also, the Chicago Blackhawks have 10 straight wins against wow. the Ottawa Senators. Connor Bedard has been distributing. He's going to run away with the Calder. Chicago Blackhawks have wins in two straight games. Five goals against the San Jose <laughs> Sharks. Okay. But how about a nice 3 1 performance against the Calgary Flames? An yeah. assist for Connor Bedard. This was the first easy pick of the night. I'm really liking this one. I don't know. I wouldn't probably wager on this one in terms of who wins because why would you? Bedard, if you want to cop out anytime point, I'm liking Bedard. Anytime assist, that's my first pick of the night steal. And I think you're going to really like that one. I do like the Connor Bedard anytime assist against those Ottawa Senators. I'm feeling that for Thursday night. I've got a same game parlay here. Oh, uh, so well, maybe my I just last two off. picks come from the same game. So why don't you just give her with your same game parlay and I'll finish with my two from the same game. Love that. I am going straight, straight to this Ooh. Minnesota wild San Jose Sharks game. This is a big Explain. contest. Obviously they're a little bit out of contention right now. Um, let me just pull it up. A big win, by the way, for the Nashville Predators over those Vegas Golden mm-hmm. Knights. Um, mm-hmm. So that, that leaves a little bit of room for Minnesota to maybe make a late, late stage comeback as they are. Let me do math right here. Nine points back Uh of the Vegas Golden Knights. So it's going to be a tough task, but they've got a game in hand. So maybe they can go on a streak here, starting with those San Jose Sharks. First pick, wild on the money line. There's not a lot of money to be made on the money line, but I'm taking it anyway because of the same game parlay. Yes, sir. Minus 345. You can get a little spicy. You can go to the puck line at uh, at minus 115 or minus 125. 
Uh, a lot of those games have not been won by two or more goals, but the Wild mm. are 7-2-1 and one in their last 10 against the Sharks. I'm going okay. the minus 345 money line. Second pick, Wild Sharks over 6.5 at plus 104. Seven out of the last 10 games have I like been that over one. the 6.5. I the like that one. The goal has been a little bit shaky on both sides here, so I'm going to take the over 6.5 yeah. at the plus money and then finish it off with my boy, Kirill Kaprizov. Anytime goal, plus 115. It. I'm juicing the odds up here in the same game parlay. Mm, I'm mm, sticking mm. with my guns here. The wild all the way. I like that steel. Hey, dig back into what you do best, pal. And I'm trying to do the same here because when I looked at this Detroit Red Wings, Carolina Hurricanes game, I was like, how can I possibly come on this podcast as much as I have? I don't think I've gone an episode in two weeks without talking about the Carolina Hurricanes in terms of. I don't of think you have either. Hey, Seth good Jarvis, energy. Seth Jarvis? Yeah, Seth Jarvis. Hey, <laughs> hey now, though. Things are he's working been, he's out. Been unreal. The last three games against Detroit. So Detroit's into Carolina here. Three straight losses. Carolina has also only allowed in those three, four goals against while winning all three. So I'm going to go Carolina on the money line. I really don't care what odds it is. If it's minus 240, minus 250, they're going to take it to Detroit. And one of the best underrated, you know, I like to bring up underrated. Sebastian Ajo is having a very sneaky good season. I actually think if he can finish strong and maybe, so he's at 80 points right now, Steele, 31 goals, 49 assists. If he can translate a strong finish into a good postseason performance, because I think that's really what's lacking here for this kid is prolonged clutch performances. We've seen him do it in the middle months. We've seen him do it when Carolina might be out of it. I want to see him do it down the stretch. I want to see him carry this team into the playoffs, and I want to see him get it done in the playoffs. However, my lock of the night, Sebastian Ajo, anytime assist. I'm going into this bag about assists. And the reason why I'm doing this deal is, one, he has 49 assists. His game is distributing as much as I think he could shoot the puck more. He's oh, yeah. 30 goals. His game is setting up his teammates. 49 assists this season. And the reason why I'm going here is three straight games without an assist. He hasn't done that many times this season. I think he's only gone three or four games straight all year without an apple, as in you're going to get even more value on an anytime Ajo assist. Give me the Ajo anytime assist as my lock of the night. Absolutely loving the player props for Thursday yes, night. Sir. Sebastian Ajo anytime assist. Connor Bedard anytime assist. Mm -hmm. Kirill Kaprizov anytime goal. Put that those is three also together. Those, that is also my lock of the night, the Kaprizov anytime goal. We might have to we might have to parlay those together, my friend, uh, going into Thursday with big time bets. Let us know what you're thinking about those picks. Let us know how your bets are doing out there and your fantasy hockey teams. Thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Once again, go check out Locked On Sports, today's YouTube channel, the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel. You can also find it on the free Amazon Fire TV channel apps. They are here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with local experts of Locked On, plus the national shows covering every single league. So once again, thank you so much for tuning in for today's episode with Flip and I. Have a great day out there. Good luck with all your bets. And we shall see you back here again tomorrow. Peace. Say goodbye to Busted Brackets because FanDuel lets you bet on every game of the tourney. Whether you're betting on a big upset or a one seed, it's time to go dancing on America's number one sports book. Right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets if your first $5 bet wins. That's $200 bucks to use on point spreads, money lines, and you can even pick who's going to win it all. Just visit FanDuel.com slash locked on and bet on college hoops until they cut down the nets. You shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets for your next big event. And with Game Time, you don't have to. Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. With incredible last-minute deals, all-in prices, views from your seat, and their best price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. Download the Game Time app today. Create an account and use code Locked On for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code Locked On L O C K E D O N for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed.
It's time to take your career to the next level. With over 150 graduate degree programs, the Catholic University of America, located in Washington, D.C., provides world-class academics with a student experience that educates the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. Whether your professional calling is in engineering, nursing, social work, or any of our other exceptional degree programs, encounter the best of everything that Catholic University has to offer and discover the best in yourself. Learn more today at catholic.edu forward slash gradadmissions.